Hello everyone. I want to show you guys how cool and amazing this e-bike is. It's an R5S. It's not just an e-bike, but it's a fat e-bike. And for those who don't understand the term, fat is because it's sheer size and bulkiness, not to mention those wide tires. This is a mid-level e-bike. It's not an entry level and it's not one of those top of the line expensive bikes. It's just right in the middle. It comes with dual suspension, as you can see, front and rear, and comes with dual hydraulic disc brakes. There's the rear, and here's the front. Now this is a rare feature for this bike because most entry level to mid level bikes come with cable disc brakes. But no, this is hydraulic disc brakes. It has a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor. Twenty-one gears by Shimano. That's right, twenty-one. Most of these fat e-bikes only come with rear gears, but this one actually comes comes with seven gears in the rear and three on the crank. It came with not one, but two LG 48 volt 12.8H lithium batteries. The build quality is top notch and very sturdy. This bike is impressive just by looking at it. Some may think it might be daunting even. But let me tell you, this bike totally exceeded my expectations. It does not only look great, but performs very well. I like how you could customize the computer to the smallest detail to suit your level of ride. The bike is foldable in case you need to put in your trunk or even access the battery. And then there's the cost. Compared to other e-bikes out there, this was the personally the best bang for your buck. With a thousand watt motor, two batteries, and all the features it came with, this was the right choice for me. Now let's talk about the size and weight of this thing. I'm not sure if the video is doing any justice, but I'm telling you this thing is big and heavy. It's 44 inches high and weighs around 70 pounds. If you remove the battery and the front wheel, you might shed 10, 15 pounds. And let me get a, some comparison with my previous mountain bike. I'm not sure if you could tell how much bigger it is, but yep, it is definitely bigger. Some of the stuff you see on here was either modified or added by me. I will post separate videos explaining each accessory such as the added lights. The saddlebag. The side pouch. Chain tensioner water bottle and water bottle mount, crank extenders, then we come up here, we have handlebar extension racks, big and small, with camera and camera mount. I'll also post another video on my tires that I changed out. These are low profile road tires. The bike came originally with these four inch knobby tires. And 
And last but not least, I'll also talk about these guys, the torque arms. Very important if you have an e-bike. I put one on this side and one on this side. So why this bike if it's so big and heavy? Well, I was really looking for a regular fat bike. I like the way they look and how rugged it is. After doing some research, even the regular fat bikes were bigger and heavier than your conventional bike. Those bikes don't come with many gears. The bike shop technician was explaining that's because it's meant to go slow or go on the sand or ride in the snow. So I got a little discouraged because that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a bike that looked good and got me motivated to be outside and exercise more. Then I researched the electric version of the fat bike. The electric assist compensates for the size and weight of the bike, and with that combination, I'm able to ride farther and longer. For those ready to criticize and say that's cheating, or you're lazy, or you're not getting the true exercise you need, let me set things straight. I get a good sweat going, and I feel that good burn of the muscles afterwards. With this bike that comes with this particular computer, I can customize the settings where I can make the bike completely manual, give me some electric assistance, more assistance, or fully electric. I say this particular computer because there are different hacks out there where you can further split the amount of assistance you need, even remove the speed limiter. With the way this is configured, I have nine different assist levels rather than your typical four levels. I was able to reach 30 miles per hour with this bike. But because I'm determined to get more exercise in, I usually keep the assistance level at three. The lower the level, the more of your energy you use. You can also customize the number of revolutions from the crank before the electric motor assists you. I'm coming off a 90 style mountain bike that I've used and abused all my teenage years through my mid twenties. It served its purpose and it was great. I took it on several mountain trails, dirt paths, roads, and even competed in four different New York City bike tours. The place where I live now is filled with many hills and valleys. It's very different from the urban life I was used to biking around in. As I got older, I was finding it more and more difficult to ride here. Unless I would take the bike on a dirt path, it was just sitting there collecting dust. Thus my passion for biking ceased. Now in my mid-40s, I can enjoy biking again and take advantage of the hills and valleys and go longer distances. I must constantly pedal and help the bike along as not even fully electric settings can make it up these hills without both of us using energy. Yeah, I know there are older folks out there that can probably bike circles around me, but I know myself, I know my joints, and I know my heart, and I know what I can take and cannot take. This at least keeps me motivated and helps me look forward to my next ride. For me, this was an excellent choice. I bought this on AliExpress by a company called Keeper and Jim. They have excellent customer service. They answered all my questions before and after purchasing. They even warranty the bike and offer replacement parts if needed. Now, I'm not getting paid to say this nor getting any endorsements, but I have no problem giving credit where credit is due. I will post a link in the description where I got it. This was the right choice for me and it might be for you too. If it gets you out there and makes you enjoy being outside and getting exercise out of it, then don't let anyone stop you. Now check out my other videos of the modification and accessories that I've done on this bike. Thanks for watching.